Hello, today we are learning how to configure Jira Server with QTest Manager on premise. To begin, we are going to log in to QTest Manager as an administrator. From there, go to the settings cog and click integration settings. Make sure you click Jira under external systems and then click add Jira connection. Give the connection name a descriptive title and then input the Jira server URL. The web URL will be used for customers who have a different access point to Jira than what the base URL is. While the server URL will be the base URL and system settings under Jira, the web URL will be used to, if the URL is different. For example, if users are accessing Jira to submit a defect and the web URL is different than the base URL, then you will input that value here. This means that when you go to, for example, test execution and you click on a link to Jira, the link will open based off the web URL. For example, we are not using any form of proxy or load balancer, so the server URL is all we need. We are also not going to input a username and password because we are using OAuth. As you see, because OAuth is not configured yet, we get an error stating that the key is unknown. So to fix that, we will need to go to Jira server and configure an OAuth link. Log into Jira as an administrator and go to settings, applications, and then application links. In the URL bar, enter in your QTest Manager URL and click Create New Link. Click Continue, and then give it a descriptive name. Click Continue, and then when the link is done, you will click the pencil to edit once, once again. Go to Incoming Authentication. And we will need to input the consumer key, consumer name, and public key. You can get that from our support site at support.qasymphony.com. We will need to input the QTest for the consumer key, hard-coded consumer for the consumer name, and this long value for the public key. Go down and click Save. We will open again just to make sure our details are there. And we can see the values listed as needed. Now that OAuth is configured, let's go back to QTest and click Use Jira OAuth. We are provided with a URL to authorize an OAuth key access. Click on the link and you're going to click allow and grab the token in the verification code. Click submit and test the connection. It's important to note that QTest will use the permission level of the user that just performed that action of retrieving the verification code. We recommend admin access for Jira server, so please have an admin user set up this step. Once we are done with this, we will go to save and configure. For this test, we are just going to enable defect integration. So we click add defect type, we click our project, and we click our bug type. Click OK, and do save and activate. Refresh the page, and Jira Server is configured. This concludes our steps for, for testing Jira Server with QTest Manager. Thank you. Thanks for watching this video. Subscribe to the Tricentis Academy channel to get the latest tips, tricks, and tutorials to help you best utilize Tricentis's continuous testing platform. For more information, please click the links in the description.